This is Friday Fix, and this is a really simple step-by-step -step guide to the driver golf swing. If you, yeah, you right there, listen to this step-by-step -step guide, I can guarantee 100% you're gonna hit it further, hit it straighter, and enjoy your golf so much more. Massive thank you to Stockport Golf Club for letting me film here. It's on the 15th tee, this is the 14th green behind me and it is looking so good. Do you want to sh guys, let's show a massive appreciation to the green staff by hitting those thumbs up button. Not just for the green staff here, but for the green staff at your golf club, because I can assure you, it doesn't actually look like we've come out of lockdown here. It's, it, it's just good. And also, it's allowing me to produce content, so I really appreciate it as well. There's three elements to this driver guide. First one is putting these down. We've got the yellow set up for our ball position. That's mega important on being able to hit this ball on the up. And number two on our list is getting alignment. The amount of times I see club golfers get the alignment wrong, absolutely hit an absolute corker, and it goes into the trees. And then they start blaming their swing when actually it was just their alignment. So that's super important. And on that note, I'm gonna hold my hand up. I have done that so many times and it's the most frustrating thing afterwards. And you look down and you realize you were aiming straight into the trees. Ha have you guys done that? Uh, comment that down below, I'd love to know because you're gonna stop doing that right now. Another thing I am so excited about is being able to hit this. I got it just pre-lockdown and I only hit it in a few times in Portugal and then I've been smashing it into the net a little bit kind of worryingly. But this hole now is 299 to the front. It's downwind, it's firm. Can I get it on? We're talking setup and this is a simple step-by-step -step guide because we're gonna get into a position that's athletic, it's dynamic, it helps us hit it on the up everything that you need for driver straight away this is how we're going to do this with the alignment sticks on here but this is something that i want you to adopt straight to the golf course so basically you're just going to imagine that those sticks are there every single time so feet together i want you to turn the left toe out so the ball position now on the yellow line is exactly on my heel then all you've got to do now is move the right foot to shoulder width apart. So straight away, if you do that every single time, that ball position is in the same space. How many times you move, you shuffle, we don't know where it is. Whereas we go one, two, we're done. Next stage on our list, we're gonna feel like we get the driver into our sternum. We're gonna just gonna tilt until it hits the inside of our leg. Now, I appreciate on the golf course, that's not gonna be simple. You're gonna feel a little bit maybe awkward if you do that. So all I want you to do here is get your grip, tilt the seesaw down to the ground. So straight away now, I'm athletic, I'm dynamic. My shoulders are in a great position to hit it on the up. My ball position is in a great position to hit it on the up. Just jump, jump down the line now, I wanna show you this. Final piece of this puzzle in the driver setup is really making sure that we've got the shoulders square to target. Now, putting this ball position up in our stance Look, as I do this, my shoulders want to point really far left. If it was really back in my stance, they can point to the right a little bit easier. Now, as we do tilt the seesaw move, I want you to feel like you pin that right shoulder back and in to make sure we've got some really nice alignment because now I've got square shoulders, hips, and feet straight towards the target. Not the trees, all right? Not the trees. So I can see the back spots on the golf ball. I can see the logo on the back of the golf ball, not on the front and also my hands and the club head are slightly behind, all encouraging hitting the driver on the up, gonna make you as efficient as possible. Okay, now onto the backswing feeling as point number two and the downswing one too as the final one we're gonna finish on. So I like to use a woggle to help me do this because it just gives me a great feeling of width. We look at all the good drivers of the golf ball, DJ, Rory, Brooks, those boys are wide through the takeaway. So this one goes just to explain a feeling. You can use your golf club or just an alignment stick. But what I want you to do is knuckles up, palm up, and I want you to get used to really stretching that woggle away from you. And at the top of the backswing, creating a stretch. My voice is changing here just because I'm doing it right. Between upper and lower, because this is gonna help us get wide. This is gonna help us get control and also this move here is going to keep control of the club face. So just a few reps to remind yourself of width, remind yourself of control is a great place to be in during the backswing. I'm so conscious every time I say woggle for all you American people watching this. Apparently it's a noodle in the UK and we call it a woggle. Okay, so let's show you that feeling now with the driver in my hand. So we're going to try and feel knuckles to the ground. 
kind of feeling that we've got that right arm width. You notice here as I do this, that I'm not fanning the face open and really trying to make sure that I'm taking that club face away with the butt of the club pointing back at me. And at the top of the backswing, I've got that width, that stretch and that feeling of freedom like a coiled spring. So going back to the woggle, feel it. Apply it. Apply it that just feels so much width. It's not narrow, it's not collapsed. And that's gonna set me up for a great feeling on the way through. Right, we've done all the hard work now. All we need is a simple tip to finish us off. Now, we're going back to Rory McIlroy because I did actually uh, a thing on the golf chat show where we made our hybrid golfer. So picked out a driver swing, an iron swing, um, chipping and putting. Everybody, I swear not, said Rory as their favorite driver. So we're gonna use that as our tip. So we've done all the hard work. We've got a good setup. We've got a great stretch and a feeling. All we need to do on the way through is get your right shoulder pointing through to target. This is gonna keep us rotated. This is gonna keep us moving through. And I want you to hold and pose that for three seconds. How many times do you hit a good drive and you pose it? You hold it, we'll watch it all the way down oh, like that. I do it, I, I know I do it every single time. When I hit a bad one, I look away, I'm off balance. Now there's no, there's common denominator there, isn't there? Balance. Feeling balanced, we are more likely to hit a good shot. So I want you to get the Rory finish, right shoulder through to target. It's a such a simple feeling to get through. Please use it guys, it's so essential. And hold it for five seconds. Couldn't be even easier. Right, let's put it to the test. Remind myself, oh, can we hit the green? 299 front. Oh my God, that was nutted. Go ball. Oh my God. So I said I was gonna try and hit the green, just walk into the bunker now. Ball in here, there's the green. Not a bad hit. So let's go have a look at it, let's go and get it. So let's go and grab it, try and not make too much mess. Now, if you wanna drive it better, all you've got to do is implement those tips. Have good setup as your foundations. Good wide backswing and that Rory follow through. It honestly make you drive it further for your golf game. Now, how did I know that I had it downwind? Well, obviously it's a little bit windy today. I can feel the wind, but I can confirm that with my watch. So on here, I can get where the wind is relative to me on that hole. I can see how far I've got to the hazards like the bunker, how far to the front, where the flag is. So many more benefits. To using this watch it's only the third time i've used it and i'm really enjoying it now as you guys know if you watch this channel a lot i am giving you a chance to win this and a massive thank you to american golf for giving me two of these and hooking me up with them because they are truly amazing and i'll leave the link at the end of the video on how you can win that now the reaction to that video has been overwhelming so many people have entered and it, it makes me feel bad because i can only give one away i'm not trying to be patronizing at all here uh, i've wanted but gadgets that are just slightly outside of my budget and uh with this i mean american golf like this watch here you can pay for it monthly so it makes it a little bit more affordable if this is just slightly outside of your golfing gadget budget so a massive thank you to you guys who watch all these videos and who comment it actually makes me feel like i'm talking to somebody not just a camera on my own in the middle of a golf course and actually makes it feel a little bit more human so as always guys if you did enjoy this content that red button down below please do hit that and that thumbs up button too i'll see you tomorrow for short game saturday stay safe